Now that the first two layers are solved, our goal is to solve the top layer, which is done in two steps. The first step is where we focus on making a yellow cross. In this step, one of the tips is that the yellow edge pieces on the top U-face do not need to match the side center pieces. Not yet, anyway. So don't worry about them. Our first goal is to match the yellow pattern on the top U-face of the cube to one of the yellow patterns shown on the cubes in the solution guide illustrations. If you have the yellow cross pattern, then you get to skip this step, and you can move on to the second step of stage five. If you don't have the yellow cross, then you have to match your cube to one of the other states. Keep in mind that the gray cubes in the illustrations mean those cubes don't matter. As long as you have yellow cubes on the top U-face that you can match to one of the four states, then you're ready to do a sequence of moves. So let's give it a try. If the cube matches state two, then you have to do two sequences of moves. First, you need to do the state two sequence as shown in the solution guide, which is F, U, R, U, I, R, I, F, I. When you finish this sequence, your cube's yellow pattern on the top U-face should match state three or state four. If it's state three, then you do the solution guide state three, F, U, R, U, I, R, I, F, I. If it's state four, then you do F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. Either way, make sure you're holding your cube so the top U face matches one of the state's yellow patterns. This is how you know how to hold your cube while you're doing the sequence of moves. Remember, you're not rotating the cube, you're rotating the faces of the cube. When you're finished with this step, you should have a yellow cross on the top U face of the cube. If you have it, then it's time to do the second step of getting all the yellow on top. And we're getting closer to solving the cube, you guys, so let's keep it going. Now that the yellow cross is completed, our goal is to solve the top layer by getting all the yellow on top. In order to do that, we have to make all the corners yellow. So let's see what patterns you have on the top of your cubes. I have state two, which is one yellow corner with my yellow cross. I have state three with two yellow corner cubes with my yellow cross. And that's perfect then because we get to solve all three. So let's look at the top U face of the cube and match the top U face to one of the states shown in the solution guide. Pay careful attention to the details in each state. In state one, if no corner cubes are yellow on the top U face, then you must position your cube in your hand so that you have a yellow left corner on the left face to match state one in the solution guide illustration. In state two, if one corner cube is yellow on the top U face, then you must position your cube in your hand so that you have the one yellow corner cube on the bottom left corner of the top U face to match state two in the solution guide illustration. In state three, if two corner cubes are yellow on the top U face, it doesn't matter which two corners are yellow. You must position your cube in your hand so that you have a yellow left corner on the front F face to match state three in the solution guide illustration. Once you've matched the cube to one of these three states, you can do the sequence in the solution guide to begin solving the yellow corners and making the entire top U face yellow. But before we do the sequence, it's very important to remember that you may have to do this sequence one, two, or three times to achieve a complete yellow top U face. And after each sequence of moves, you have to reorient the cube in your hand to rematch the top U face to the appropriate state and repeat the sequence until all corners are solved. Okay, let's give it a shot. Hold your cube with the top U face matching the correct state and the top U face on the top of your cube. A common mistake is holding the cube with the yellow cross on the front F face. So make sure it's on the top U face. We start with R, U, R, I, U, 
R U U R I. Now, if you have all the yellow on top, you can move on to stage six. And for those of us who didn't get as lucky, we have to rematch the top U face with one of the three states again, and then do the same sequence. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, U, R, I. Now, if you don't get all the yellow on top again, don't worry. You should only have to do the sequence one more time. First, rematch the top U face with one of the three states again, and do the sequence one more time. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, U, R, I. Ah, there we go. The cube looks just like the picture in the solution guide. Remember, in the Solution Guide illustrations, the gray cubes on the side mean it doesn't matter what color they are, at least not yet. If your cube matches it, then great job. We're almost there, so we can move on to stage six. If your cube doesn't look like the illustration, then you need to see where you messed up and try to correct it. You might need to start over by going back to stage two, the white cross. Either way, don't give up. You can do this. We'll meet you at the next stage, stage six.